Welcome back everyone. We hope you had a really great festive season and new year. We're back to start the year off with another great healthy recipe. Today I'm going to be making nut and seed energy bars using the Vibe Blender. The first thing we need to do is pulse these nuts in the Vibe Blender really quickly and then we're going to roast them with some coconut in the oven. I'm going to be using almonds and pecans today, but the beauty of this recipe is that you can really mix and match your nuts and seeds and flavors. Use this as an opportunity to use up what you have in the pantry and get a little bit creative. Add one and a half cups of whole almonds to the blender jug, set the machine to nut mode and blend for eight to 10 seconds or until you get a coarse nut meal. Pour the almonds out onto a tray and set aside. Then add one cup of whole pecans to the blender jug and pulse on nut mode two to three times or until again you get a coarse nut meal. Pour those out onto the tray as well. Add one cup of desiccated coconut to the tray and half a cup of mixed seeds. Today I'm using a mix of sunflower seeds, pepitas and sesame seeds. Mix this all together on the tray and then put the tray into the oven for five to 10 minutes at 160 degrees. Once the coconut has turned golden, you can take it out. So the nuts and seeds are looking really nice and toasty. That just goes now into a mixing bowl and we're gonna add some dried fruit. Add one and a quarter cups of mixed dried fruits. Today I'm using goji berries and chopped apricots. Give it a good mix and then I'm gonna prepare the wet ingredients to help bind this all together. Into a small saucepan, add half a cup of nut butter. Today I'm using peanut butter and half a cup of coconut oil. Melt it together on low and then remove it from the heat. Then you can add a third of a cup of honey or to make it vegan, you could use maple syrup, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm going to pour this liquid now straight into the dry ingredients, give it a really good mix together and then press it into this tray. It's around 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters and I've just got some baking paper to line it. Once you've pressed it down evenly in the tray, then set it in the fridge for an hour. So I've got the tray out of the fridge now. It's looking really good. It's nice and firm. So all I'm gonna do now is chop it up into bar sizes. Then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of dark chocolate over the top. So these have turned out so good. They're the perfect, easy homemade snack for morning tea. Store them in an airtight container in the fridge for up to a week or in the freezer for up to a month. Have a go at mixing up the flavors for this recipe. It's the perfect way to clear out the pantry. So give it a go for yourself at home and let us know what you think in the comments section below. And as always, if you haven't already, then hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our Labelli Life recipes. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it today and we look forward to coming back soon with another recipe.